In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best wide receiver in Madden Ultimate Team and what you need to know about how to make him even better for your own team. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, uh, I have a Madden 21 Tips and Tricks video uh, channel. And basically, what we do is we post four videos every single day with some type of concept, tactic, tip or scheme that is going to help you get better in Madden 21. So uh, what we're doing right now is we're covering uh, some of the latest cards that came out and talking about why they are so important um, in the grand scheme of the quote unquote meta or how you can be most effective with these cards. And if you want to um, catch more of our videos, we also do, like I said, money schemes um, for offense, money schemes for defense. We go over tips and strategies, route combos, um, um, covered shelves, blitz combos, all those all of those things are coming. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you'll want to do that. And if you haven't joined our text message membership video, we just put out a fire video uh, this last week uh, showing a trips tight end defense uh, about 50 minutes covering how to basically lock down trips tight end. So if you haven't received that video yet and you want it, just shoot me a text. My number is 812. 216-3644. It is also in the top left corner of the screen, and it is also in the description of the video. All right, I wanted to go over this Chad Johnson card that just came out. I highly recommend powering up your cards. It's going to get them a little bit of a boost. It's going to give them a plus one boost across the board. But what you're going to see with this card, and this is why it's so powerful, um, I have Sprinter on him. Um, and what you'll see is he has 95 speed. Now, this if you were to do a Patriots theme team or a Bengals theme team, he could probably get that up, I think, to 97, um, maybe 96. But what you'll see with this card, and this is why this card is so important, if you go through and look at all of the wide receivers that have been released in Madden Ultimate Team, um, this card is so, so huge. And here's why. He comes in with 90 um, he has 90 route running across the board. Whether you chemistry him, him up or not is irrelevant. He is going to come in with, with 90 short running, 90 medium route running, and 91 deep. You see here that because we've powered him up and we've chemmed him up, he now has 91 uh, short route running, 91 medium route running, and 96 deep route running. But here's the key. If you look at his card underneath the wide receiver icon, the archetype is the key, at least for right now. Archetypes really, really matter. And the best wide receivers in the game, and almost like what you want to go to do is go to Mutthead, and you can actually sort your players by archetype, and we can look at all of the route running. But of all of the route running wide receivers in Madden 21, um, the one that was the closest to this card was the Julio Jones. The problem with the Julio Jones is, is he did not hit the route running threshold at every single piece of the um, material. So he had um, 92 short route running, 89 medium route running, and 87 deep route running. Now, once you chemmed him up, you could get him there, but he was also slow. He only had 91 speed, whereas the top end cards right now are running at 93 speed, at least before you chemistry them up. And so because of that, this makes Chad Johnson a very relevant card and a must-have card on your team. I've gone ahead and picked him up while the market is still low on him. Um, as the market goes up on him, which it will, because he is going to, after this weekend, he'll probably be submitted as the best wide receiver in Madden 21. So I would highly, highly encourage you to pick him up. The reason the route running archetype is so important is if you go over here to upgrades, what you can do is you can chem him up. Um, and then you can put abilities on him. And the Slot Apprentice ability is one of the best abilities in the game to get those crossing routes, to get those corner routes and post routes. You get it for one AP. One AP, which is really, really huge. If you were to put that on Terry McLaurin, that would cost you, I think, at least two AP, maybe three AP. Um, and then Route Technician. This is the big one for me. He gets uh, Route Technician for, for only two AP. And Route Technician, if you know anything about it, Route Technician is going to help you get open better against man-to-man -man coverage. Um, and you see he gets it for 2 AP. If I were to jump over here to Terry McLaurin, let me just show you the difference. So I'm spending 3 AP on Chad Johnson, and I've got Slot Apprentice, and I've got Route Technician. If I were to try to do the same thing on Terry McLaurin, uh, what you'll see right here is if I were to go through and put this on him, let me just show you. Um, outside Apprentice costs 2 AP. Let's see here. 
I don't even I don't know if you even get slot apprentice um, slot slot omatic um, the other ability is 4 AP on Terry McLaurin because he's a deep threat archetype whereas on Chad Johnson it's only 3 uh, AP and then I think if you look at route technician and we'll just show you here I don't even think he gets it um, as you can see but you see if he were to be able to get it it would be 3 AP slot apprentice 2 AP so the AP is really really huge this is going to allow you to save some AP, still have the same route running there, and be able to get the job done. So I highly recommend uh, Chad Johnson. In my opinion, if you were going to put two, uh, and then uh, Stephon Diggs I think is the next best out of the three because he does have that route running archetype so you can put those abilities on him. But these are the best three wide receivers in the game right now, at least in my opinion. Um, the only receiver that's even close to Chad Johnson would, would be um, – Terry McLaurin, but because he's a deep threat archetype as opposed to a route running archetype, I think Chad Johnson becomes the best wide receiver in Madden Ultimate Team. So um, that's the video, guys. Be sure to join the Discord if you want to talk Madden 24-7 with us over there. But in my opinion, that is who you should be shooting for um, as you're grinding solo challenges and as you're making coins. And if you need help making coins, just shoot me a text. Uh, I have a couple of videos that I can share with you. Um, and a couple of resources that I could share with you about how to make more coins in Madden Ultimate Team. But in my opinion, Chad Johnson is a must, must buy and a must have. And he takes receivers like Tyrone Calico and DK Metcalf and makes them borderline obsolete right now. Um, just with the way that Terry McLaurin has that 93 speed, um, Chad Johnson is a huge, huge must buy, must add card on your team. So if you haven't picked him up yet, I'd highly encourage you to do it. I think his market is going to go up once the weekend is over. So make sure to pick up that card. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. And we will be streaming this evening at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern live uh, with this Chad Johnson card. So I'd love for you to stop by the stream and, uh, and catch some of that. All right, we'll talk to you later.